The title of this video is Keywords Are King and that is very, very true. You see, when writing your LinkedIn profile, something to keep in mind is that you can benefit from including keywords and phrases. These are phrases and terms that people are likely to enter into search engines, including both Google and LinkedIn's own search function. The idea here is simple. By using the right words throughout your content, you will increase the likelihood that those words will bring up your profile when someone searches for them. At the same time though, it's important not to overdo the insertion of keywords as this will make your text seem awkward to read, damaging the impression that you'll make on your visitors. Meanwhile, when you overuse keywords, this can actually send a signal to Google that you're attempting to manipulate their search algorithms at the expense of delivering great quality to their visitors, and this can result that they'll end up penalizing your page and preventing it from ranking highly in the searches at all. A good density for inserting your keywords is around 1 to 2%. Moreover, Google is now capable of looking at related keywords and using those to help you rank as well. This is called LSI optimization or latent semantic indexing and you can read all about it here on the Wikipedia page. So as well as trying to subtly lace in your keywords, you should also be aiming to write around the topic and include lots of synonyms and related terms. And this should occur pretty much naturally as you're writing. The biggest question is how you pick your keywords to begin with. Here, the answer is to think about what people might be looking for that other LinkedIn users might not have thought about targeting. So, in other words, if you try and rank for the term writer, you may well find that this is very difficult or even nigh impossible. Why? Because everyone and their wife will be trying to do the same and the chances of beating them all is slim. You might then instead try to rank for something like 15th century art law writer. The problem in this case? Well, no one is likely to be searching for that term. You'll be the first name to come up if anybody does, but, well, probably nobody will. On the other hand, though, if you were to try and be a little bit more specific by ranking for a term such as fitness writer, you can stand a much better chance of competing within this more limited field, but at the same time, you'll still be able to attract traffic through a decent number of search queries.